Hey, it's Jonathan here with Chex Vans. We're an outfitter here in the Northern Virginia area. We are super excited to show yet another one of our van builds. Behind me, I have a Mercedes Sprinter 144. I'm gonna take you on a little tour of the outside of the vehicle, some of the upgrades we've done, and then we'll show you the inside. So here we have Sumitomo tires on a 16 inch black Rhino uh, rim. Inside we have a Van Compass stage four suspension upgrade and we put a two inch lift on this. So this is gonna give you a lot of clearance. This is a 30 amp shore power connection. Uh, you can certainly tune it down to less than 15 amps if you're at a household. We put two flare spaces on this van, one on the driver, one on the passenger to maximize that side to side uh, bedroom area. We have a wheel and tire carrier. It's another great partner of ours, Alvan. Provides customers with access to the roof. This van has a 27 gallon freshwater tank. We have a water inlet here. Filters your water going into the tank underneath. The freshwater tank has a heating pad under the driver area here. It's a 22 gallon gray water tank. That is what's gonna store your shower water, your sink water. Ton of upgrades to the outside of the van. We have a max air fan on the roof. We have a 300 watt solar panel. We have our Dometic 12 volt AC unit. We have our van compass suspension upgrades and the lift kit. Now I wanna show you some of the amenities that we've done inside. We found a really nice place to put a air compressor hookup. This is an air, ARB air compressor on a switch that is built into the factory plate on the passenger door. Hit the switch and you can blow your van out. You can pump your tires on your bikes up, or if you were to head out onto the beach and wanted to deflate your tires and then come back from the beach and inflate your tires, you have an immediate way to do that right here from your van. All right, so we're super excited to show you the inside of this van. It is built on the 144 chassis, and we've done some really innovative things to maximize the space. So let's take a look. We've got a couple of cubby locations here. You know, you're out on the beach, flip-flops. So this flips down, provides a nice platform for food and beverage, you know, hanging out. We always like to put a speaker facing outside. We have a light switch that will turn a light on to light up your uh, step as you're entering at night. We're really excited about this flip-up butcher box. You can access it as additional countertop space while you're in the kitchen. The nice thing is by simply pulling on this lever, we can lower it. And since we have the passenger on a swivel seat, it provides the passenger with an ability to work on their laptop. We put a heater underneath the passenger seat. We have an AC unit on the roof to keep you cool in the summer, and we have dedicated heat in the winter to keep you warm. You'll notice a switch here. This is a three-way switch. We like to give customers the ability to turn their lights on as they enter the vehicle and then turn them off from their bedroom. All right, so here's the kitchen. It's a butcher block countertop. You can pull this butcher block out, utilize the sink as needed, place the butcher block back, and it gives you plenty of countertop space, plenty of room for an induction cooktop. There's a dedicated plug on a GFI here as well. All of our kitchen drawer faces, door faces, as well as over and overhead cabinet faces are all done with a high pressure laminate. All these drawers are on a soft close. So they'll soft close and then latch close to prevent opening while you're driving. A very large drawer for large blankets. Again, soft close and latch close, as well as a nice fridge freezer. So you have a microwave, you have a sink, you have an induction cooktop, all the things you would normally need out on the road. All right, so here we are in our shower. Our showers are built 36 wide and 24 deep. I'm 5'9", so you get a sense of height, and I'm standing on a three inch teak floor that is removable. We use a vinyl interlocking tile from Palisades, fully waterproof. And all of the wood behind this is red guarded as well to really maximize a waterproof seal. We use a self-cleaning Nautilus door. We also use a Nature's Head composting toilet. We like this toilet because it has a built-in 12 volt powered vent fan, which we vent out through the bottom of the, the, the van. So this is our shower head. It's on a magnetic uh, handle. So these flip down to hang a towel and then when they're not in use, they simply flip up out of the way. This is a high bed fixed configuration versus a dinette or other options. We did this again so that we could house large items in the garage such as mountain bikes. So we devised and came up with a butcher block step that simply latches down onto our cross beams. Gives you the ability to eas easily get up into your bedroom area. This is where you're gonna access a crucial part of the van 
which is your instrument panel, your batter monitoring system, your hot water heater timer switch, your water pump, as well as that heating pad that I mentioned on the freshwater tank outside. If your gray water tanks are full, you simply turn off or on the motorized ball valve, and that allows you to empty your gray water tanks without exiting the van. We also like to put our water heater on a timer switch so that you do not forget to turn your water heater off. That is a big energy drain in these vans. All of our doors, again, are, are faced with a high pressure laminate. They're on a gas strut, which provides a really nice, quiet opening, as well as a soft close. And in this last drawer, we have our DC fuse panel. We also have high quality JBL uh, door mounted speakers, which match the speakers in the ceiling and the speakers facing outside the van. So right above your bed is a 12 volt Dometic uh, air conditioning unit. Next to the bedside table is your control for your S-Bar heater. So in the winter, you have control from your bedroom to control the temperatures in the van and to stay warm. This is a custom mattress that really takes advantage of that extra space here, really makes for a very comfortable living area, sleeping area here in the bedroom. So now we're gonna take a look at this garage. Storage that sits above our water compartment, storage that sits above our electrical compartment. In this particular van, we also put in a pull-out tray and slides out of way for ease of use. So if you're at the beach or went on a mountain bike ride, you wanna rinse some things off, you can simply push this outdoor shower in and you can rinse off your feet or take an outdoor shower, rinse off your bikes. We have a custom-made cubby here, great for this shower hose. Eight gallon isotherm water heater that lives behind this cubby. A SureFlow water pump, a water accumulator to keep pressure in the lines, as well as a full hot and cold set of manifolds. These are all individually controlled. This van has a monster electrical system, 540 amp hours of Battleborn battery. We have a solar disconnect, AC fuse panel, as well as a DC fuse panel, Renogy DC to DC charger for your alternator charging as you're driving down the road, and a solar charge controller from Victron pulling solar power from your roof. This allows customers to completely go off grid. This van is completely built out of 8020 extruded aluminum. It's the kind of van, especially with a two inch lift and an upgraded suspension, that's really gonna allow customers to take this van pretty much anywhere they'd like to go. Fully self-contained, large water tanks, large gray water tanks, AC and heat, solar, large power system. You get a full kitchen, a full shower, and a 144 Sprinter.